Hello, everyone. Yeah, so I'm, I'm here to guide you a bit through the process of um, project submission. So first, you have to go to Guana website, which is, I'm going to share my screen first, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So here we are on the Guana website, which is www.guana, which is G-U-A-A-N-A.com, org Africa versus virus. Here you have a brief introduction that tells you um, the key points that your final pitch need to have so that you can focus on it. You have it in English, you have it in French. And then we have the list of uh, challenge topics, uh, the themes. Um, those are the nine initial themes that uh, the idea done was based on. So you have to select the theme uh, and, and what you worked. So for instance, let's go to Business is an economy. You have to click on it. You have again the explanation, what it is, uh, some ideas. This ended up being the, categ the categories under which we grouped all of your 3,000 challenge submissions. In this case, you also have it in Portuguese, you have it in French. So all the explanation, and you click Let's Get Started. With Let's Get Started, you initiate the submission process. Edit proposal because I had already started. Here you have again the introduction proposal. You have to put a title here, which is for those of all of you, those of you who have submitted the, the registration, you should use the same title so that we're able to find it. Topic, you have to describe the problem. So here we have a few questions to help you guide it. And at the end, we indicate the evaluation criteria, so the weight that the question has. Here we have the solution description. The same again, with questions to help you guide it, and we tell you how much it weights. We have been sharing an image showing the, uh, the different scores and the different weight of the evaluation criteria, so that you will see, but for, the, for profits, for projects that are for profit, the solution description weighs 30%, for projects that are non for profit, it's forty percent. So that is basically so that you can understand that if you have a your idea is to turn your project into a business, um, what is important here is also your plan, how you plan to implement it, the team that you have. Whereas for non for profit solutions, we're focusing on the solution itself. Um, then we can work more on on finding teams or refining teams if you need help, if you cannot work on it, but it's focusing on the solution. The key here is that we have the main topic, questions to help you guide it, and the evaluation criteria so that you know exactly which questions have more weight. Here, is it a for-profit or non-profit solution? You have to complete it, type here. Number four, describe your implementation plan. This is very important. Here, you have to describe the different steps that you need to take to implement your project. A timeline, whether it's a project that is to be, that could be start, that could be started tomorrow or that you need a bit more time, whether it is a solution that should be out soon and for a short period of time, or if it's a long-term solution, it could be, for instance, a long-term solution to track pandemics in general, not only coronavirus, or, or a measure that could be put in place for the long-term uh, versus one that could be in place for for a very short time right now, like a like an emergency uh, solution, for instance. Then we have number five. We have to describe the expected impact of your solution again with the evaluation criteria, twenty points. Um, describe the impact is what you expect could happen after you implement your solution. So. Um, who are the, the target, uh, who is the target population, how you could affect their, their livelihoods, um, and basically describe what could be the outcome of um, implementing your project. Then you have to describe your team. As I said, you have to name all the team members and their roles and describe any relevant experience that they might have. Again, there is a difference in, in non-profit and for-profit solutions. This is because we know that in, in many cases, uh, the participants came to the Ideaton with an already um, thought through idea. So you had a, a project that maybe you were working on with your company or with colleagues. Uh, and in that case, um, most 
most of you already have a team, so we're giving more weight to, to those who, who will be implementing a business or making a business out of this. Whereas in the case of people that are making nonprofit solutions, and in most cases, people are coming together and ideating here, and they're developing what could be considered a public good. In those cases, the team is, for, of course, relevant, but we want to focus more on the solution that you came up during this weekend. So we will be evaluating non-profit solutions on the one hand and for-profit solutions on the other hand. That explains the difference in the percentage and the different questions, but don't worry because you have all the information in the form. It's very clear, very transparent. The evaluation criteria are there, so you can easily find it. Number seven, you have to click yes or no. Was this an existing solution you were already working on before the idea term? Number eight, would the team be ready and available to implement the solution? These questions will not be evaluated. We just need to know whether your team would be interested in implementing the solution or whether your team just participated in the ideation process and would be happy to give the implementation to someone else. This could be because maybe you have a full-time job and you cannot take care of this or simply because you like to, to, plan, the, to plan the idea but um, do not have the time or are not willing. Uh, to go through with it, that is totally fine. Um, if your solution is, is one of the best ones, we will um, make sure that we find someone else to implement it, but always keeping the original team as the owner um, of the idea. Uh, so all of you will retain ownerships of your projects. You can decide or not whether you want to take part in the implementation or not. Then you have the possibility to include all relevant links and resources. So any links that you may have used, um, if you are creating a, a website, you can include the link. I know that there's a project in which they are creating a website. I saw it. Um, it was really advanced, so this would be the field to, um, to complete it or to include it. And then a link to your one or two minute pitch video. Here in two minutes, you have to explain what your project is about. You should base your video on these questions because this is what we want to hear. What is the problem? What is your solution? What is your implementation plan? Who will implement it? Um, the video, it can be someone talking or it can be an animation. That is entirely up to you. Um, we're not giving any, any guidelines uh, of that sort. You can do it as, as you think, uh, as a, in, in the way that you think is best for, for your solution. Solutions are very, very different and people are working on a diverse range of projects. So different videos would suit different projects. That is up to you to decide. If you need help uploading your video to YouTube in the channel announcements, uh, one of the first channels we post uh, messages, we posted a series of resources that you could use. One of them uh, is a guide on how to upload a video to YouTube. Finally, the last question, Number 11, you can add any presentations that you have. Um, and here you can add a, a PowerPoint, you can add a PDF. So basically any supporting documents that you might have can be uploaded through here. If for any reason you cannot make a video to YouTube, make, make a video and upload it to YouTube or simply make a video, you can upload a presentation instead, a PowerPoint presentation. Um, ideally, all of you should upload a video, but if someone can't do it, this is not going to be a requirement. We're not going to reject any submissions because of um, technology problems or lack of, um, lack of a possibility to do it. We want all of you to participate and we want to read all of your ideas. So if that would be a problem, you can, you can attach a, a presentation and that would also be fine. And finally, once you completed all the questions, you hit submit. Once you hit submit, we get your, your project idea and, and that's it. And you've already uh, submitted your final pitch. You already made your video. You met people, you networked a lot um, and you learned a lot and hopefully you had a lot of fun.